August 26th, National Cherry Popsicle Day. Popsicles, again, this is the second Popsicle Day this year. We had a grape one, remember? But at least we turned that into an adult boozy one with the wine and the grapes and everything else. So that one was okay. Uh, today we're going to try something a little healthier. Again, sometimes people ask us to do healthier stuff. So we're going to make a homemade cherry popsicle. We're using dark cherries. Uh, I had a bag of frozen in my, in my freezer, so that's what I'm going to use today. I figure, why not? I mean, what's the difference between these and fresh? If you're going to freeze them anyway, they're already frozen and whatever. Uh, so I have a cup of that. I have two cups of Greek yogurt. Okay. I have the zest and juice of one lime and I have two tablespoons of honey that's all we need for today oh and you need a popsicle mold too with you know the sticks in the whole bit okay so here's my food processor what I'm going to do is process my cherries first as you can see they're giving off a lot of juice which is good I just want to chop these up because nice pieces in our popsicles. We don't want just whole, whole cherries for that, you know? Okay, perfect. Now we're going to add everything else. So add our yogurt. Sorry, I'm turning my back to you. There you go. My yogurt, my lime juice and zest, and my honey. Okay. That's it. We're just going to mm, mix that or process that until it's all incorporated, okay? So we have a nice smooth mixture. All processed, nice and smooth, okay? And now we're just going to pour this into our molds. Over there, I'm probably going to spill this all over the place, but that's all right. So just put this into your different molds here. And then we'll put the sticks in, throw it in the freezer. And we should have some nice, healthy frozen yogurt pops. It's not frozen yogurt day, it's cherry popsicle day, but we're making some healthy cherry popsicles for you today. Okay, so we'll see you in a couple hours when this all comes out. Tastes like a cherry lime. Really nice. So it's a bunch of hours later and there's one of our popsicles. The hard part is always getting it out of this mold, so I ran it under a little warm water. Just so we can get it right out. There is our cherry lime yogurt pop. It's cherry popsicle day, so why not make it a yogurt? A healthy one, right? Oh, that's good. You can really taste the lime and the lime zest in this. Mm. Oh, I'm digging that. Yeah, it kind of melts. We bite a piece off. And then it kind of melts and you get that whole yogurty, creamy texture of it. Like ice cream. Mm-hmm. With the cherry pieces now. Oh my gosh. Cherry Popsicle Day, make your own popsicles. <laughs> or just go buy a box. They got those popsicles, they're real cheap and you get the real red, red, cherry red one. Then you go like this and your whole mouth is red. Alrighty, we'll see you tomorrow everybody. We're baking again. Kind of something new that we haven't tried before, but similar to stuff we've done before. Alrighty, see you then.